Hello guys, welcome back to Mornings with Granny. I hope you're doing okay. It's another cloudy day. You remember me telling you yesterday I was going to try to make some beanies. Well, I did get one made. But the only problem is, is I had a small hook. If you crochet, you know what I'm talking about. I was using an eye and I probably needed about a K or an L. And I've got to get one because I don't have one. Plus, I was using um, a medium yarn, four. Um, I think it rated number four, and I probably needed about a number six. But it didn't turn out too bad. Instead of being adult size, though, it's a child size. So this was a child size that I was going by. And so I think I got them. This yarn on this, this one is thicker, whoever made it. But I think I got them pretty much... You know, they're pretty much the same size. I did watch several videos, and I just picked out one that I thought would be easiest for me to follow. And then I put it on the television, and I sit there, and I would watch, and I would rewind, and I would watch, and I would rewind until I finally figured it out. About the first, oh, I don't know, six, seven rows were the hardest, because after you hit that, it, everything was the same over and over and over till you got it the length you wanted. So, I don't think it came out bad at all for my first one. I was excited about it. Be cute on a little girl. But yeah, like I said, they, they're pretty much the same size. It's just the, this yarn is a thicker yarn than this one. And I did make another dishcloth last night. So, I need to make some of those for Christmas this year. And maybe some beanies, if... If I get a thicker yarn and I can find it that it's easier to work with. Now, if I do the thicker yarn and it comes out a child size again, then undoubtedly I'm pulling my stitches too tight. But all that being said, I stopped in the thrift store. I had to go out, so I stopped in the thrift store because I was hoping they'd have some yarn in there, but they didn't. But I did buy a couple of things. Let me show you what I got. I spent $4.20. $4.19. I was needing a wider mouth funnel, so I got this one, and it was $0.49. Cents. I have a glass measuring cup, but the letters are getting rubbed off, so they had these two for $0.69. Cents. And I also got this little toaster, well, not toaster, pan for my toaster oven for 69 cents. I have one, one that's just a little bit bigger than this, but sometimes, just for me, that's the perfect size when I want to put something in there. So, two of these I needed. This I didn't really need, but for 69 cents I got it. These I didn't need, but I did buy because it was cheap entertainment. And these are CDs. And they've got some oldies on here. 1947, 1948, and 1949. We're talking about Guy Lombardi, uh, Doris Day, Frankie Lane, Mel Torme, uh, let's see, Bing Crosby, Les Brown. I think I said. Perry Como, Fontaine Sisters, Andrew Sisters, different ones. Just good listening. I mean, 29 cents each. I mean, come on. And then they had the fabulous 50s. So there's two of them right there. And these got Jim Reeves, Johnny Mathis, Andy Williams, Tony Bennett, Teresa Brewer, Nat King Cole, Tommy Dorsey Orchestra, the McGuire Sisters. There was five of the um, ones for the 50s. I'm trying to get that glare off of there so you can see. They all pretty. They all got the same kind of front. It's just the songs are different. This one has McGuire Sisters, Bing and Gary Crosby, Rosemary Clooney, Les Paul, Della Reese. So like I say, it's just, you know, good oldies. I like the old music. So that was my $4.19 today. 
couple of things I needed and some I didn't really need, but goodbyes, goodbyes. All right, guys, well, I'm going to get off of here and um, wash these things up. And I think I'm going to work on making some more dishcloths. So I hope you guys have a good day. And don't forget to give this a thumbs up and subscribe. Bye-bye.